Les jours que vous pouvez entrer dans un saloon de Los Angeles pour célébrer l'anniversaire de la tenancière. On vous y emmène. Les Hollywood Hillbillies nous ont invités. La tenancière aussi. Fur, la chanteuse et bassiste, part en tournée mondiale avec les Cramps. Ici, avec ce trio qu'elle a formé, les Hollywood Hillbilly, elle a une énergie terrible. Derrière la baie vitrée, Sunset Boulevard. Voilà pour le français. Et pour votre musique, comment la définissez-vous Country punk, euh, rockabilly well, We call it a psycho hillbilly, surf, biker, rock and roll. We do a little bit of everything. On a l'impression que la country revient à la mode. Well, it's never been gone, I don't think. Uh, I think that the people that played it when they were young, they did it wild, you know. But all those people get older, and the younger people copy the people that got old in country music and so they kind of play it like you know and that's not the way it should be you know it should be like young people's music uh should be wild you know it's just more electric than it was in the days when it was really cool you know
Les Beat Farmers, un nouveau groupe de San Diego. We have Calvin Davidson and Dark Horse, and we also have the extravagant Hollywood Hillbillies with us. All right. That sounds great. Great show. Uh, you know, incidentally, we've been getting a lot of cards and letters. Guest. Um, there's a very controversial band. Thank very you. much for coming down and Thanks bringing Dark Horse with you. Mm -hmm. Thanks very much. And uh, our next guest um, is a very controversial band. As a matter of fact, the first time that I saw this band perform live, I thought a bunch of terrorists had broken into the club and taken the stage by storm. Uh, but they're one of my favorite bands, and I'm sure they'll be one of yours. Would you please welcome the Hollywood Hillbillies? Yeah!
We finally got him on the show after after all these years. Uh, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourselves? My name's Steve. Howdy. That's Hot Rod, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Gary Dixon. And My name's. There's other kids. Uh, well, there's still a lot of them. Five of them got eaten by coyotes, but. Coyotes, because you all live out on a ranch, right? Yeah, five acres in Sunland. Sunland. Uh, do you ever have any uh, complaints from the neighbors about rehearsing, or is it? Oh, no. Oh, never, just, never at all. Lock the gates. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can get in unless no they neighbors. walk in. No neighbors. No. Nobody around now, what, what kind of music is this? I mean, this isn't exactly cow punk, and it's not exactly farm jazz. What would you call it? Well, uh, sort of entertainment music because we don't usually stick just to one thing in particular all the time because uh -huh. we start off with hillbilly and we go to wild surf stuff and we do polkas and rock and roll and instrumentals and all kinds of stuff so whatever we like we do right well, now I have a question yeah, fun music. <laughs> who uh, who got this started the concept uh, Gary and I did okay and uh, how did you all meet well Gary and I and Jack Ruby were in another band together called the Whirly Birds. And we traveled the country and got kind of weird. And we split that thing and started this because we wanted a real band instead of like a lead singer and then the backup band and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, When did the uh, chickens get into the act? Uh, about a few months after we started up. I thought hillbillies need chickens, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you, I saw you guys at the Palomino, and you opened up with an uh, old theme from the Beverly Hillbillies, but you rewrote the words. Tell us about that a little bit. Tell you about it? <laughs> yeah, the words go... Uh, he, he's the one who does it. Let's see, how does that go? <laughs> goes, let me tell you all a story about a hillbilly band, poor mountaineers just living off the land. Then one day we was playing for some food when up from the crowd came an A&R dude. <laughs> Records, that is. Solid, Solid gold. gold. MTV. MTV. <laughs> well, the next thing you know, we signed a major record deal. The kin folks said, wow, that's unreal. Living in the country ain't doing you no good, so we loaded up the wagon and moved to Hollywood. Hills, Hills that, that is. is. Hot tubs <laughs> and porno oh, stars. <laughs> Cal Worthington and his dog, dog Spot. spot. <laughs> woof, woof. <laughs> that's that. That's great. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Uh, now, this, this song you did... Uh, Put the hearse in reverse. I want to live again. I want to live again. Is this uh, off a new record you're, you're working on? Yeah, we have a new single. It's our second one, and it should be out next week. Yeah. And this song is one of the sides. The other side's a wrestling song called Modern Gladiators. And <laughs> so we think it'll be good for the big wrestling craze. It's the big wrestling. Uh, yeah. uh, who do you support? Do you follow professional wrestling? George the Animal, Steel. He's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> He's the ugliest and the meanest and the baldest and uh, the I like, hairiest. I like Uncle Elmer because he weighs 428 pounds. Un Uncle Elmer. Uh -huh. Right. I I've seen him for. And Will, you're a big uh, wrestling uh, fan, aren't you? Yeah. I like Bubba Phillips. <laughs> Bubba <laughs> Phillips. <laughs> and at the end of our uh, wrestling song, there's a Cindy Lauper challenge between me and her. So. Uh-huh. All right. right. Well, listen. Uh, we, we certainly enjoyed having you on here today. I mean, you've really made my day. Well, we and being here. and uh, thanks for coming down. And yeah, thanks very much. <laughs> and, of course, this means this uh, concludes the show. Thank you for joining us today. The uh, 
Uh, Hollywood Roundup staff would like to thank our guest and everybody that's worked so hard. So this is Bob Hotelling. And Will Ray. Saying so long. From Hollywood. The Hollywood Roundup has been an H&R production. In conjunction with our sponsors, Digital Productions of Glendale and the California Country Music Association. Wardrobe for a host in the Hollywood Roundup band was furnished by Manuel's American and Western Clothing Store of North Hollywood. Until next time, this is your announcer, Gail Ray, saying so long from Hollywood.